Kenondo! This is a review, not a substitute for the source material. Please, please, please support the official release of the Tales of Arcadia. Trollhunters Tales of Arcadia is on Netflix and is released season by season. That is good. Straight in with great action and world building. There are trolls, some good, some bad. Got it? Good! Yield! Kanjigar! A troll hunter never yields! Ron Perlman and Tom Hiddleston. Again, exposition here with no word spoken. Trolls are hurt by sunlight. How does nobody see them? I know that it's 4.30, but come on. No commuters, no garbage collectors? No. The amulet will find a champion. This setup feels an awful lot like the crappy Green Lantern movie. The previous holder of the powerful item falls in battle after fighting the main villain, and the powerful item chooses a human for the first time ever. Clever. He can't get the amulet until the sun sets, by which time it'll have chosen a new champion. Very sneaky, friend. How does all of that need doing? His mum's a night shift doctor, not a bulb blowing idiot. Showing knife tricks in a kids show. Hey kids, look at how cool this guy who plays with knives is. Although, I do appreciate them showing a male lead who can cook, and is a serious character. One win for breaking gender stereotypes. Love you, mum. Ah, <sighs> loving your mum. Me, one for mom, and... Ah! Oh look! The overweight sidekick! Haven't seen that in a hundred other stories. I can't eat this. I'm on a diet. You've been on a diet for the past 14 years, Tobes. Not helping your best friend lose weight. Like, Jesus, Jim, you're a good cook. Can you not make tasty, healthy food? I can do that, and I'm a hopeless human being. Come on, Tobes, don't you ever want a little more excitement? <laughs> no? Protagonist wants more from life, but their friend doesn't, cliche. For example, see every Disney princess movie ever. Win for teaching kids to wear their helmets when cycling, or doing stunts. Jim hears a creepy voice coming from the shadows under a bridge, and doesn't immediately hightail it to the nearest adult screaming, STRANGER DANGER! Maybe he wants to use the bitten binder method, throw him off his rhythm. Looks like an amulet. One win for not doing what I would have done. eBay. Whatever you do, don't sell it on eBay. F*** you, eBay! We're so late, our kids are gonna have detention! Seriously? Your kids are gonna have detention? You were there for what, two minutes? You would only get like a week's detention for not showing up at all. N n not that I know that, of course. Oh, and Jim, if you fancy Miss Nunez, I submit that talking to will be much more effective than staring at. They do a really good job of endearing you to Strickler. First off, the fact that climbing a rope is asked of teenagers. Second, fat kid jokes. Grow up, world. And third, character says they're closer or have done a lot when in reality they have done very little cliché. Three students just sitting around in the middle of gym class on their phones. You know what you did at my school if you couldn't do PE? You did homework, because studies are important. God damn it, why do all the best people move in herds? Do you like Shakespeare? What? Do you like Shakespeare? No, Claire, he does not like Shakespeare. Nobody likes Shakespeare. Nothing is worse than Shakespeare. Shakespeare? But also, come on. How has Jim never even heard of Shakespeare? Is the American education system really that bad? Oh, right. Uh, we're having trouble getting boys to audition. Realistic portrayal of school plays. I was one of, like, ten boys in my school who actually performed. In a 70-person play. The flabby pinata, and I'm pretty sure you're filled with candy. This man would be fired instantly. You can't verbally abuse a student like this. You know, exciting. I mean, 
more. I, I just need to know that there's something more to life than... They even have a musical trill for the protagonist wants more trope. What about a reluctant hero? Bilbo Baggins, Harry Potter, Katniss Everdeen, where have they all gone? Anybody in there? Why is he acting scared? It's a boy's locker room, not a dark alleyway. Worst case scenario, it's Steve. My orthodontist says I'm almost done with my braces. Only four more years. Dude, come on. My braces took 18 months. Unless your teeth look like sloth from Goonies, your doctor is ripping you off. Oh, right. I'll let you out. Or you can let him out right now. I'm Standing up to bullies. Where were we? Um, I like how Steve isn't really that good of a bully. He forgets his thoughts, he acts all high and mighty, but he's just a scared kid. Realistic portrayal of a teenager. Yeah, just go crazy. Ooh. But in 20 years, you're gonna be fat and bald and you'll be working in a muffler shop and Eli will have a career in software and you'll be a billion- Wish fulfillment right there. Ah. Thank you! Oh god, Eli's voice is like someone shaving my balls with a cheese grater. Jim, there must be a million things you'd rather be doing than looking after me. Can't think of one. Love you, honey. So much love! Just hug your parents! All the time! I am Gun Robot, pick up your phone. The existence of Gun Robot. Hey, Tobes. Did it talk again? Jesus, Toby, he just got in the house. Let him relax. Come on, talk again or you are going up on eBay. Yes. Succumb to the darkness. Give in to your empty wallet. Uh, side note, if anybody wants to buy, like, 2,000 assorted common Yu-Gi-Oh cards, DM me, at James Kinnon. Ah! Afraid of your own reflection. Never seen that before. Master Jim! Kelsey goddamn grammar. Also, appropriate reaction. Blinky, he looks scared. You are a giant goddamn troll. And you're in his basement! He has a right to be scared, you mossy moronic monolith! Unbeknownst to your kind, there is a secret world, a vast civilization of trolls lurking beneath your very feet, hidden from view. This right here is how you can tell Del Toro made the series. That is his penchant right there. Uh... Fainting? Now? Come on, kid. If anything, you should have fainted from the very beginning. A second, I... Ah! Not applying local anesthetic before shoving his rod into Toby's mouth. <laughs> Harry, and they said that they were tro... Tro? Strickler is a smart man. Trainers. He should have picked up on this Trainers. way quicker than he did. Tr Trainers! Trainers who want to train me in... Ch uh... Chess. <laughs> Please. Unless one of those trainers was my main man, Ron Weasley, that lie ain't gonna fly. <laughs> God damn it, I love Steve. Now, I think I know what has. And thus begins my favorite character arc in the show. It's absolutely fantastic. Four slices of tomato is here in this shot and gone in the next. For the glory of Merlin. Daylight is mine to command. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! <laughs> Toothless. One sin for the fact that since this show has been released, I have been to five conventions, and in none of them have I seen someone cosplaying this. Cool. Correct. The final score is 32 sins to 27 wins, giving the first episode of Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia a minus 5. This show is brilliant. I've already binged it like twice because it's amazing, and the second installment of the series, Three Below, has just been released on Netflix. If you haven't already checked it out, please, please, please go do that now. It is absolutely worth your time. It is just brilliant.